man, oh man. It's a good day. Got the, got the beautiful Reagan Marshall back there falling behind. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are absolutely fabulous. It's a, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. So we are actually headed down south. By the time you see this video, we'll be back up north. Uh, but we're actually headed down south to go down towards my fiance's place. We got some stuff we got to tend to down that way. Um, busy, busy, busy. You guys saw we got the new shop. We got the new shop. We got the new house. I'm not going to do any house revealing because um, tires are spinning out there. Uh, because I don't want people knowing where I live or what my house looks like. But a lot of big stuff happening. Um, one thing after another. It's getting pretty crazy. So Duramax build stuff. We are about to be ordering a bunch of parts in for this truck. It's going to be pretty sweet. I'm trying to figure out still though like what all I want to run under the hood and then also what all I really want to do in terms of power or just more efficiency parts um, to where the truck can at least sustainably run really efficient and good the way that it's set up right now. And then also in terms of the wheel tire suspension setup type of deal, I'm trying to figure out exactly what's gonna be the, the perfect setup for this truck and the usability and daily drivability of this pickup. So all that stuff's getting worked out right now. We're just gonna kinda make a decision and figure out what's like the most ideal setup for this truck and just kinda just kind of send it and go with that. Uh, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. You guys are gonna like it. I, we have kind of an idea of what we wanna do and I, I kinda think it's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty mean. So I'm pretty excited about that, but uh, yeah. The Duramax giveaway is live. If you want to have a chance to win this beast of a truck, this thing does run. It runs incredibly. Definitely don't hold back on entering. Definitely enter. Um, like I always say, like it's generally like the bottom one to three percent, maybe, of my subscribers that participate in the giveaways generally. But guys, come on. I mean, you, you spend 15 bucks, you can win a truck. Don't want to enter? Totally cool. You can still watch the videos and enjoy those, but huge opportunity, and I would hate for you to miss out. On another note, while we're going down the road here, I did want to mention that the King Ranch may be having a little bit more of an issue than we were hoping for in a different way. No, we are having quite the fueling issues that we thought we might have been having on that truck, um, which is good. You would think like, oh cool, the fuel, the fuel system's not failing on it, it's not going bad, that's good to hear but something else is going out on it. That's something that we knew was gonna happen, we just didn't know when, and that is the turbocharger. It sounds like uh, the shop said that that turbo is failing and they work on a lot of Fords. Go figure, no, I'm totally, door I'm totally messing with you guys. I posted an Instagram post and I was like, um, go figure, the shop is just slapped full of Fords and they don't specialize in Fords, they just get tons of Fords in for that need fixes and stuff. People got so butthurt, I'm like, dude, we own Fords. We still like Fords. It was just kind of funny because of all the stereotypes that people have out there about Fords and how they joke around about it. Anyways, all that being said, it is a turbo thing and we kind of knew that was going to happen. They say it generally can happen between 80 and 150,000 miles on the 2011 to 2014 um, Super Duties, the Power Strokes. And it's got about 80, 85,000 miles on it now. It's kind of right in that area where they say it could happen and unfortunately it is uh, kind of happening. So we've got some stuff that we're working out right now. We're going to get these trucks fueled up really quick and I will get right back in telling you what the actual plans are for possibly for the King Ranch. This truck actually, I'm not sure how big the tank is on this thing, but it's a lot cheaper to fill up and it holds a lot less fuel than my Longhorn, that is for sure. So it's kind of nice, kind of sucks sometimes because you have to fill up a little bit more, but it's not because it burns more fuel necessarily. The tank's not as big, but overall it runs great and I freaking love this truck so much. monitor problems. Stop. <laughs> she, she's trying to fix it. She's trying to fix it herself. Well, no, it won't come on because it freaking gets too cold and then these freaking tuners suck. Yeah, so her truck's been sitting a lot lately just because we've been doing a lot of driving together. See, and so you got to unplug it and put it back on. That's how these edge tuners work. So dumb. So anyways, it, like, the screen, since it's been so cold and hasn't been running so long, it kind of kind of didn't want to kick on, but she got it. Her truck's got a lot bigger fuel tank than mine is. A lot bigger. I think she's got a 36 gallon. Eats it up. I love the hostiles on this, but I think she wants to go back to the black wheels. What do you think? You're gonna go back to the black wheels? I don't know. I just like the wide. You like the if wide If they go anything, it's just gonna have to be a wide stance. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. I don't blame you. Who else tries to top off the tank as high as they can? Back on the road! I joke around with her about her truck sometimes, but she really does have one of the meanest looking second gens around, around these parts, that's for sure. We were talking about the King Ranch and how it's going to need a new turbo. So, my dad has been communicating back and forth um, actually with Fleece Performance. Fleece is not sponsoring us as of this point. They're not working out any deal with us necessarily. We haven't, we haven't gotten any details. All he said was he called Fleece and he was talking to him about um, potentially seeing if they would work with us at least a little bit on a turbo setup in trade for some publicity. So, we'll see how that works out, but um, we've just always wanted to, he's just always wanted to run a Fleece Cheetah on that truck. Here comes, uh, here comes Rosine. Anyhow, my dad's been wanting to run a fleece cheetah turbo on his 6.7 basically since about 50,000 miles when he realized that he's going to need to start to look towards getting another turbo put in that truck um, or possibly just doing a remanufactured or a factory like 2015 or newer turbo. Um, just kind of just kind of what he's been thinking but could possibly be doing that, running a uh, fleece uh, cheetah turbo in that truck. So we'll see, nothing set in stone. That's obviously just an idea, a thought that's being tossed around. We're, we're just figuring out the details of everything and what's actually wrong with the truck. Ooh, I've been doing things that they told me I could never do now. Never do, I could never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams began to turn out. Them, it's my turn now. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all. Never gonna burn now. I've been busy working, you busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. What is up fam? How are you today? So, few big announcements. Not, I mean, not huge, pretty big. New hats, Richardson 112 caps. I had a guy make a comment the other day and he's like, oh my gosh, dude, something's wrong with your hat. It's too tight, it's not good quality. I'm like, dude, it's a Richardson cap. Look at the stitching, look at here. It is incredible. It won't even focus in. Focus in more, focus in more, focus in more. Right there. Look at the quality of that. Richardson cap right there. Style 112. These things fit incredibly. Super durable. Anyways, they fit incredibly super durable hats. I love them. Start this thing up. That was a cold start. Did you hear did you hear this Duramax cranking? Oh my gosh. It's like 15 degrees out right now. And it sat for, I want to say 15 hours probably straight. And this truck's not used to sitting outside. It was garage kept in like a heated garage bay. Several years of its life. So anyways guys, another announcement. Posters. We have truck posters of the, we're gonna, we should have some up of the Duramax by tonight, but we definitely have some of the Longhorn. The Longhorn, the OBS, and the Longhorn and the OBS together. Really stellar posters, They're actually pretty good sized posters. You should see them later on in this video. You should actually be able to see some of the posters hanging in our shop. We're gonna try to get some posters put up because they look really freaking cool. And I think a lot of fans have commented down in the description, not, not in the description, in the comment section of the other video I posted, and I was asking for ideas, and I said, hey, should I make a poster of every truck that I've owned and frame it and put it on the wall? Not to mention, you know, all the giveaway winners, like have a wall for giveaway winners and have a wall for trucks that I've owned, just the trucks themselves, and I think it would be really freaking cool. We might even try to see if the Longhorn fits in the shop. I don't know, it's gonna be really close. I know the Duramax fits super easy, obviously. It's a really low truck. Yeah, look at that Longhorn, boys. I 
I do freaking love that truck. And I gotta be honest, as much as I love driving the Duramax and saying how, yeah, I'd love to trade it in for a Duramax, trade my Longhorn in for a Duramax, I do just love the Longhorn interior so much more on like the new trucks when comparing side by side. It's just really hard to beat a Longhorn interior. Look at this girl backing up this truck. That thing makes a Duramax look like a baby. It's so funny. It's a freaking tank. Sounds so good too, gosh dang. Well we're gonna go in and grab some picture frames for these posters and this is how they're gonna come by the way. In a tube, capped off, and when you take them out of the tube, they should just come out and they should just completely flatten out after just a couple minutes, nice and flat again. And then uh, you can throw them in a frame or just tack them to your wall in your man cave, whatever you wanna do in your shop. They're really good for that kind of stuff. That's what we're gonna be doing is uh, making posters of all of our trucks and uh, posting them up in the shop. I'm gonna try to show you these posters here. Sorry for the lighting, the glare, the lighting is making it really kind of difficult to show them off really proper because there's like a plastic um, cover over these frames. And no, the posters do not come with these frames. You can see how the lighting is, you can see everything in the reflection, but the posters look really good. If you can get them without the reflections, which I can only do if I get all the way on the side, which doesn't really give you the full effect of the poster. And here's this one. Again, they look absolutely stellar. It's just really tough to get good lighting in this house. Um, and it's really just a plastic crap on these frames that I have that makes them look kind of bad with the reflections, but they look really cool. I mean, they do look really, really nice. So go check them out. They're on the store now. There's a little bit less reflection, but it doesn't give you the full effect because it's not looking directly at it. But um, go check them out on the store. Link in description to go snag a poster, snag a cap. Like I said, new hats look awesome, super comfortable. Go check them out and let's go get these things hung up in the shop and try to back that Longhorn in. Okay, so I'm gonna try to back this Longhorn in here now. The only thing that could be bad is you see a little hump right there, how it kind of comes up onto the pad there. I don't know if that just two or three inches difference is gonna make it an issue, but we're gonna see. I think it'll fit, but it'll be really close, so let's see if it'll fit. Now, if there's, if it's getting, it looks like it's gonna be really close, I'm gonna try to watch myself, but if you see something I don't, let me know. Girls always take your key to your Six inches. It's good. We're gonna so, have to get a tall truck. So I thought the Longhorn was gonna be like almost too big. Like I thought it was gonna be like almost brushing the cab lights. But I'm actually shocked. There's there's a decent amount of there's still tons of room over here. Like if you park trucks in here really smart, like when we get the first gen back, we're probably gonna park on the other side of this wood thing here to use up that extra four feet of space since it's not gonna be getting driven a lot. Um, park it real snug there. Cause then we could probably park three trucks. I'm gonna park
So, a lot of room, like I said, we can definitely fit three trucks in here um, because the first gen, as it is, could easily sit in the middle of this shop. I mean, easily, or my car, anything really could fit in there, or another Duramax, all of us could be tight. But look at all the wasted space we have over here because the Longhorn, I couldn't park it very tight due to this big wood thing right here, the shelving. Um, made it so you can park it snug to the wall, but plenty of room. Like I said, guys, this isn't like, let me actually close this door. Look how much room there is in the front of these trucks, though. Plenty of room. And so I know some guys are like, oh my gosh, dude, that, that shop's decent, but it's going to fill up quick once you put a bunch of toolboxes in, tools, crap, all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it'll get tighter in here, obviously, when you use up space, but there's still plenty of room to work around a truck compared to this, the uh, shop space that we have now, because even at our other barn, yeah, it was bigger, the, um, not my dad's a really big barn. The other one at our house that we that I grew up at, it's bigger than this by far, but the actual usable space due to equipment, just stuff stored in there, all the building stuff he has on the side, which takes up half the space. This is about, like, even though the length it's longer, um, this is about the actual amount of space we might actually have on our barn anyways. It's actually usable, but this is just deep enough to work around front and back of a big truck like this and then work around the fronts of it and the sides of it too. I mean, it's just, I think it's perfect for what we need, do you think? Mm -hmm. So right now we're actually gonna take some of these posters. We've got the lovely Reagan Marshall right here, right? Okay, so we're gonna get these posters and hang them up, but we can take another look here at some of these. They're pretty cool posters. Honestly, they really are. I told him the glare has been awful, but they really are really nice posters. Where should we hang on? Most trucks that we're going to be building are going to fit in that shop, which which works perfect because it's not like a it's not like a place that we're going to want to stay at forever, but it's going to do us good for at least a year or two till we figure out what we really want to do. Um, but yeah, so that that's all good. Then the posters and the hats. The posters look really good. This water bottle is blinding me because it's reflecting water right into my face. Um, oh my gosh, I never had that. Have you ever had that happen? Oh my, it's on my phone screen too, gosh dang, all this stuff is blinding my face, I can't see anything. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog, a lot of stuff coming up, first gen content coming up, Duramax content coming up, I mean just a lot of stuff. Um, these past couple videos have just been a couple vlogs, but it's going to get pretty good, it's going to get really good. Is it going to get good, Reagan? Yeah. It's gonna get it's gonna get really good. So stay tuned. Enter the Duramax giveaway every fifteen dollars you spend on LNP gear is another entry to win. So if you go buy a poster, you're gonna get entered. You go buy a hat, you're gonna get entered. You go buy a t-shirt, you're gonna get entered. You know what I mean? Every fifteen dollars gets you another entry though. Thank you guys so much. Information in the description below. Keep in mind, you can be winning yourself in LMM Duramax. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.